Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. Finally, I'm back with a holiday look for you guys. I wanted to do something with glitter and something mauve and purplish. So this is the look that I came up with. I absolutely love glitters and sparkles. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a holiday look and I kind of want to do a mauve purplish kind of look. That's what I'm going for and we are going to use glitter of course because it is the holidays. So yeah, let's get started. It's going to be a full face routine and um, not a lot has changed but I am trying out different products so I kind of want to show you guys what I'm using at the moment and loving at the moment so yeah let's get started I'm going to start off with my eyes first because I am using glitter today so whenever I use glitter I like to start off with my eyes first because of the fallouts <laughs> so I'm going to prime my eyes first and I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier concealer and this is in the shade 2.5 just to cancel out all the darkness and you want to put the concealer all the way from the lid up to the brow bone just like that. So who is excited for 2017? I am. I feel like 2016 went by so quick, but I am ready for 2017. So once I'm done with the concealer, I'm gonna set it with the powder and I'm gonna use the NYC face powder just to set it. Once that's set, I'm gonna move on to my shadows. Today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and this is what it looks like. Mine is really dirty, um, but yeah, I love this palette so much, it's just really, really amazing. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here, it's called Burnt Orange and I'm going to just use this as my transition color. like so I'm just blending because that's what you gotta do makeup is all about blending I'm going to move on to the E40 by Sigma and just blend it a little bit more and I'm really sorry if you can hear the furnace it's super cold here in Canada and I need that. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. Next, I'm gonna take Buen Fresco, I think that's how you say it, on the same brush, and this is the Sigma E35, I think. And I'm just going to concentrate this more into the crease. So, like that. Oh, if you guys see the glitter, mm, like, oh my god, the glitter is the best part. It's so pretty. That's actually what inspired me to sit down and film today. <laughs> the glitter, because I really wanted to use it. I couldn't wait. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush, and this is the Sigma E25. I'm gonna take Love Letter. And Venetian red both together and put this on the crease just to deepen it up and give it a more plummy pinkish magenta color and I'm going to deepen it up more So next what I'm gonna do is clean up. I already put some concealer actually um, before I realized it wasn't recording. But I'm just putting some concealer on the lid just to clean up 
and make it a little bit more crispier, I guess. You can do this in case you got any of those shadows from the crease on your lid. You can just clean it up with some concealer. Then I'm just gonna take that same brush, the one that I set my lid with before, and whatever is on it, I'm just gonna set with it. And then what I do is just blend again. I'm just gonna take a shader brush and I'm gonna pick up Vermer. This is a nice pinkish champagne color and I'm gonna use this as a base before I put my uh, glitter on. And if you don't wanna use glitter, you can leave it at this and just blend and you'll be done, wing liner, lashes, and you'll be done. But who doesn't love glitter? I do. Now, moving on to the fun part, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever glitter in number 13. It's really, really pretty. It looks like a silver glitter, but it's not. Can you see it? Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I think the camera is picking up some of the specs, right? I can't find my MAC glitter glue, so I'm just gonna use my eyelash glue. It works just as well. And I'm gonna put the glitter I mean, I'm going to put the glue wherever I'm going to apply my glitter. So pretty much just in the center. Glitter just makes everything better. Glitter makes the world go round. <laughs> um, it's my mother. Mother, mother, mother. Don't rub it all around, just dab it. Um, that way, you get a lot of glitter on the lid and less fallout. It looks so pretty. Christmas is here. And I'm just going to blend it. So I'm gonna take that Cypress color and also a little bit of Venetian red, mix together and apply it right at the Corner. I'm gonna take that same brush and blend it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna do my face now. We'll come back to the eyes afterwards and do the liner and everything. So I'm just going to quickly take a makeup wipe and wipe off any of the glitter that we've got on the face. I'm just going to do my foundation and my face. So I'm going to start off with Pores No More Primer by Dr. Brent. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite primer ever. Like, I love this primer. It's so good. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to take the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer and I'm in the shade Sand Beige 06. This is my favorite, 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 probably my all-time favorite foundation. I love this foundation so much, plus it's from the drugstore so it's really inexpensive and it works so well. It has really nice coverage. It doesn't look cakey, which is a plus because I have dry skin, but it still gives you full coverage, which, I mean, is amazing. And it's not completely matte, but it's also not oily, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just a great foundation. You gotta try it. So if you guys are looking for a really nice foundation from the drugstore or just a new foundation that you just want to try out, definitely give this a try. You will not regret it. Like I've been telling everyone about this. Like do you see the coverage it gives? But it still gives you a nice luminous finish. I find that I find that with foundations I'm just gonna cover my thing as well. Oof, I look scary. I find that with 
foundations that have really full coverage. They can look a little cakey and dry and just not work as great for me personally. But this is just on another level amazing. So yeah, definitely give this a try. You will not regret it. I'm just gonna conceal underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier number 2.5 concealer. This is the secret concealer for under eye. That's what it says. And I'm not too crazy about this um, concealer. It's it's nice, but uh, I don't know. I I'm not really crazy about the foundation coverage. Is good. I mean, I'm not using my orange corrector today. I'm just going in straight with this. This is like my third time trying it, but I don't I don't really like it as much. And then I'm taking this side of the beauty blender, or the sponge you can say, and just blending everything out. For my brows, nothing has really changed. I still use the same products for my brows. I'm just gonna fill them in with the Urban Decay Concealer. I'm gonna take this Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. I've been loving this underneath my powder highlighter. It just gives you a really, really intense glow, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna do three drops here, and three drops here, so right here, and on the nose. Like that. Like that. Oh, and a little bit on the cupid's bow. Most insane glow. So I'm just going to blend it out with this little brush. I like to blend the nose contour, well the nose one, with a little brush. So this is what I've been using underneath my powder highlighter. And I love it. Once I have that, I'm going to first set my under eyes. So I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This is my favorite. Before I do that, I'm just going to look up and blend out the creases because we have a lot of creases down here. And then you want to set. You never just want to go ahead and set those creases because that's not what we want. done that I'm also gonna set my face a little bit although I'm dry I do like to set my face a little bit even though with this Milani foundation you don't really need to set much because it just automatically just sets but I'm just gonna set it a little bit I'm gonna be using my pixie face powder and this is in the shade warm number three this is also the powder that I use whenever I do my um, quick powder routine whenever I don't want to do a lot of makeup and I'm in a rush I'll just do powder foundation and this is the powder that I'll just put all over my face and do a little bit of some contouring and all that maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll do a video on that later next I'm gonna go back to the eyes and we're just gonna finish up the eyes so I'm gonna take my NYC liquid eyeliner and do a wink liner with this. I'm 
and if I haven't already told you for the millionth time, <laughs> this is the best eyeliner ever. And it's only like three bucks. I have a little trick for you guys. If you have like kind of my eye shape or if you find that it's a little bit harder to get into those inner corners and it just makes it thicker in the inner corner that you just gotta, so if you're doing this side, you just gotta look this way and then do it. I don't know if it's a trick, maybe you guys already know it, I don't know, but I thought I should just let y'all know what I do, because I used to always struggle. And then I figured this trick. So now I'm just going to coat my lashes with some mascara and move on to false lashes. So moving on to lashes, I'm going to be using my favorite lashes. I've been wearing them non-stop. These are the Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and I'll be right back. So I have my lashes on and lashes just make everything amazing, honestly. I don't know what we did before lashes. <laughs> I have no idea. Because I cannot live without lashes. I feel like every time I do an eye look, I'm like, eh, it looks okay. But once I put my lashes on, I'm like, yes, now I love it. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm just going to take another shader brush and I'm going to use Tempura. I'm just going to put this right underneath the brow bone to brighten up that area. Take a big fluffy brush and just blend everything because you don't want to have any harsh lines. So this is what the eyes look like at the moment. I'm going to just finish up the under eyes and for that I'm going to take a pencil brush. Love Letter and Venetian Red mix together like we did in the crease and apply this on the bottom lash line. Take a flat definer brush, which looks like this. I'm going to pick up Red Ochre, which is right here, and I'm going to place this as close to the lash root as possible, just to make it look darker. Then you want to go back to that um, blending brush that we've been using so far for our crease. You just want to blend. I'm just going to blend this down. So you want to blend it really nicely so that it's nice and blended. But when it comes to this, you really have to blend, blend, blend. You want a nice blended, smoked out look. Finish it off with my mascara on my lower lash line and I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I am just gonna quickly take that same brush and I'm gonna go into Burnt Orange just a little bit and just smoke this out a little bit more. I always like to just add a nice warm brown color to blend it out so yeah that's what I did the eyes are done I'm just gonna do a little bit of cream contour I know that I set most of my face with powder already well pretty much all my face with powder already um, I meant to do this before but that's okay I'm just gonna do it after it works for me I know they say don't mix creams with powders but I've done this a million times because I usually forget to cream contour before I set my face and it works for me um, I mean, everyone's skin is different, I guess, so if it doesn't work for you, make sure you do this. Make sure you cream contour before you set everything with powder. But for me, it does. I'm just going to go ahead and cream contour just a little bit.
I'm just gonna take my Kat Von D shade and light palette to set my contour. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite contouring palette. I don't think I've touched any other contour palettes um, in the last probably a year now, honestly. This is all I use. I'm just going to bake a little underneath the contour. Now, once I have a nice little beard going on, I am going to set my nose contour. I'm going to take this shade and just a tiny bit of the middle shade. I'm going to take the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC25 and I'm going to brighten up this area right here underneath the eyes and also against the nose so that my contour just pops a lot more then I'm just gonna take a brush and just dust off this bacon so today for blush I'm gonna take the 10 color palette from uh, BH Cosmetics I'm gonna use this color and a little bit, a little bit of this purple right here. It's going to take some Mary Luminizer and just highlight the tops of my cheekbones. So I'm just taking a big dual fiber brush and blending everything out so that we don't have any harsh lines and everything looks nice nice <laughs> nice and blended now we can finish it up with the lips so today I'm going to be using Kylie Cosmetics Candy K um, uh, liquid lipstick I don't know why I forgot what it is but it's a liquid lipstick Kylie Cosmetics Candy K I find these a little bit drying on my lips it could just be me um, but yeah I do find it a lot drying than the other liquid lipsticks that I have so I leave my chapstick on and I do everything on top of that So I'm just going to add my brow gel. I always like to do this at the end once I'm done everything. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And also, please let me know in the comments down below what else you guys want to see um, as far as holiday looks go because I do plan on filming one or two more holiday videos. So please let me know. I think I want to do something with red lips and also something with drugstore and something less dramatic. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. And I will see you all in the next one.